Hi girls, let us see some more examples in functions. Already we have seen four categories of functions. Functions with no arguments and no return values. Functions with arguments and no return values. Functions with arguments and one return value. Function with no argument but return a value. Function that return multiple values. So we already seen examples for all the four categories. We need to see category 5 even though I have given some more examples for all the five categories. Let me explain the program for category 1. That is with no arguments and no written values. The program is we are going to find the amount received when the interest is compounded annually. That is you are going to calculate the amount received due to applying compound interest. Here we are going to declare functions with no arguments and no written values. So as usual you are including sgadio.h and these two are functions that we are going to use. So this is called as, we know that it is function, declaration, otherwise prototype. So I am going to use two functions, one is print line, another one is value. Both of them has no arguments and no written values. Coming to main function, void main. Entering into void main, there is no declaration, anything else. Directly we are invoking print line. So the control pass on to the print line function outside main. It comes here, it enters print line. There i, the local variable is declared as an integer. Then we have started a looping for loop. The for loop starts with i equal to 1 and ends with 35. So this loop executed will be executed for 35 times. What is the purpose for this loop? What I am going to print, I am going to print a character, a special character underscore. So this underscore have been printed, will be printed 35 times repeatedly. After completing this loop, it comes out of the loop and there is once again a printf statement which gives you a new line. So, I will be getting 35 hyphen lines 35 times and it comes to next line, new line and the pro, sub program ends and it once again the control passes to the main program from here to this point. Once again we are invoking the second function value and the control passes to value. Now here get into inside the subprogram value there we are declaring two variables here period as integer and in rate sum principal as float. Now I am going to get the values of principal, interest rate and period. So we are using a printf statement enter principal in rate period. So we are reading the data using scanf statement. First one, principal is a float value, in rate is also a float value and period is a integer. So, percentage F, percentage F, percentage D, am present principal, am present in rate, am present period. After receiving all this rate, this is principal, this is rate of interest, this is period. I am assigning the principal value to sum and I am taking year to be 1. I have declared year as an integer and that is assigned with 1. Now I am starting a void loop. This void loop runs until this year becomes does not equal to period. Year is 1, it is taken to be 1, period whatever we received from the keyboard. Suppose I have given, if this will be the output. After the first print line call 35 underscores will be printed then enter principal in rate period this 
print up statement will be executed after entering value statement value sub program suppose i have given 5000 as a principal and rate of interest as 0.12 and period as 5 now my period is 5 so what will be the checking condition 1 less than or equal to 5 the condition is true so it gets into the loop sum equal to sum star 1 plus in rate what is sum this principal amount that 5000 multiplied with 1 plus 0 0.12 we know that the formula for amount in calculating compound interest is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n this r by 100 is 0 0.12 this n is your period this p is your principal now this principal is assigned with sum so sum star 5000 star 1 plus 0 0.12 actually the, the power should be 5 but here the power is not raised just we have multiplied sum and 1 plus in rate now here is incremented initially it is 1 now here becomes 2 so now here becomes 2 and it enters the checks con checking condition 2 less than or equal to 5 condition is true once again it gets into the loop what is stored in sum this value is stored in sum this will be taken and this will be substituted here and with that value what will be once again multiplied 1 plus in rate what is 1 plus in rate 1 plus 0 0.12 once again here will be incremented as 3 3 less than or equal to 5 condition true it gets into this what is sum sum is 5000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 into 1 plus 0 0.12 that is the whole square now the same this total value will be taken for sum multiplied with once again 1 plus 0 0.12 so when i multiply that it becomes whole power 3 once again here will be incremented and here becomes 4 4 less than or equal to 5 it gets into the loop once again what's the value stored in sum this total value will be taken for sum and 1 plus in rate will be multiplied so the power becomes 4 now finally here becomes 5 5 less than or equal to 5 yes it's true it gets into the loop for sum this total value will be taken and this will be multiplied with 1 plus 0 0.12 so it becomes whole to the power 5 now the condition here becomes 5 plus 1 6 6 does not equal to 5 is false so it comes out of the loop it prints the value principal in rate period and the sum what we have calculated now principal for principal what I have taken I have taken my whole number to be containing 8 places a decimal and 2 fractional part in rate may have 5 places as a whole number and 2 as a fractional part my period is an integer so I am adding I know that the period is only 5 so I just add 5 space for D 12.2 for sum it may have 12 digits in the whole number and two digits in the fractional part so this is the space allocation for principal in rate period sum so the correspondingly all the four values will be printed and once again after printing all the data it return back to the main function as the sub program comes to an end so it comes to the main program so here it has been called it comes to the next line once again I am invoking print line so once again it gets sent to print line once again this local variable will be declared and this i varies from 1 to 35 and this loop will be executed 35 times and each and every time it is it prints a underscore so after printing this it comes to the new line so my output will be look like for when I first invoke print line this will be printed 35 times then after that I am invoking value there I am printing enter principal in rate that will be printed in the monitor 
as soon as enter principal in rate period is shown we used to type the values of principal in rate and period these will be taken for calculation and the executions will be done and finally one more print up is here so the principal in rate periods and principal is we know that 5000 in rate is 0.12 period is 5 and finally the calculated values 8811.71 actually it has more decimals since they are restricted to have only two decimals that is two fractional part only 71 will be printed if it is not given you will be having six precisions and after printing one second print line is invoked there once again some 35 underscores will be printed so the output will be have a neat look when we have like this so in this example the main feature is i haven't sent any value to the sub program from my main function main program main function otherwise and this called function doesn't returns any value to the main function so it has no arguments and the function has no arguments and no written values so this is an example for no arguments and no written values thank you girls